let me say welcome to old friends because um, we are not new to each other. Um, I'm sure that um, we have a record of past experiences of working together in order to grow the industry. Hannah Bissu, who was the deputy minister in charge of uh, livestock, uh, worked closely with you to try to do the broiler program, I remember. And then also um, the issue of quotas for imported chicken in order that we could protect the market and expand um, our local poultry production. These are all things that we worked on together with varying degrees of, of success. Um, we know what the major issues facing the industry are. Of course, the first is um, uh, cost. Uh, cost of, you know, the various inputs that go into the poultry industry are high uh, because um, a lot of the things we don't produce ourselves, we import feed, we import day-old chicks. Uh, they're able to produce them at a much cheaper cost because of uh, production at, on scale than we are able to because if you're producing on a more massive scale then you have a lower cost than when you're producing for a smaller uh, scale and so that has been one of our major um, uh, problems and well they say do where you have comparative advantage but poultry is so basic a protein that we cannot abandon it and say okay let's stop producing poultry and let uh, foreigners uh, uh, produce the poultry for us because it's become a basic staple in our country another major problem with the industry is processing how we are able to process it and put it in a marketable form to make it attractive for basic uh, Ghanaian consumer to to purchase and so that's how we process it, how we package it, how we market it is another area that uh, we need to look at. It's always been a bit of a problem. Um, we try to put in processing capacity when we're in government so that we're able to present the poultry in the form that it is. Tariffs, we put up the tariffs, I remember, on imported poultry in order to make it more expensive and give our poultry the chance to compete. But in every system there are loopholes, um, there are influential people who um, manage to uh, misclassify their goods in order that they pay a lower, you know, tax, they pay lower taxes and duties than they should normally uh, pay. Recently I've had complaints from even some of the importers that there are people who are very influential in government who are able to bring in the poultry either by misclassifying it as fish or something in order that they can pay a lower duty rate. And when that happens, they bring it on the market and are able to sell it cheaper. And once they sell it cheaper, then it undercuts the local poultry production. So we're aware of a lot of these issues that continue to plague you. Because of the penny and the pamphony, part in the house was to say, Young Sue Poultry Farmers, Omatons are afraid, say young Ranian Mumusia. Said your man Penny, Eddie Carcano, a Yaya Gumabi Bribi. A BC said, Emra Name, a Ashanti Regional Chama. No, your man Penny, a bed ye tree. A team will pitch us be brew with ya. Now you do poultry once and more commando. And I obey your man Penny so. A new year Guma in Fi Cacrania, Yanantu Poultry Muno. Idrenbe <laughs> 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 <laughs